Aloha! Welcome to part 6 of Mega Man X4 in the Zero playthrough. Iris? Where are you? Iris! She left with them? No! Maverick Hunter, scramble! I'm on my way. Don't do this to me, Iris. It's the final weapon! The final area in the game. Iris has mysteriously disappeared. This doesn't forebode well. <laughs> One thing I never mentioned before in the X playthrough, and it, a it actually carries on from X4 to X5 to X6, uh, you can actually save your progress here and you'll never have to do the kernel fight ever again. And if you get to the last level and save the game there, you'll never have to do the level I'm in right now. They actually saved, like, the whole progress in the castle. It's not like classic Mega Man where every time you want to beat the game you have to go through the entire castle. You could save at the last level. How about that? And look, it's Iris! And... What do you mean, warning? Oh god. Iris! So you fought with my brother. I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait, Iris! Listen to me! Goodbye, Zero. Iris! What the hell is that energy ball she's got, anyway? And whatever it is, it can create a gigantic mech armor for her. Okay. Sorry folks, I'll Iris is attacking us. We have no choice but to retaliate. Basically, you want to keep hitting the armor so that all the pieces come off one by one. Eventually, the purple crystal, which is the weakness, will come out. And that's the only way you can hurt Iris. You have to take out that purple crystal. It's weak against the fire sword, and uh, it just loves to hover around. The only real move that you're going to have to worry about is when she does this two laser thing. Basically, she charges a laser with her armor, fires, and then wherever the crystal is, it'll always be on you. It'll fire right afterwards, but then it'll stop following you as soon as the first laser is fired. So you want to watch where you are. I got cocky yet again. I almost died, but I didn't. <laughs> I thought I could handle it, but whew, can't believe I survived that. Usually I have an okay time with Iris. I don't know what was happening this time. I was dicking around, I guess. Enjoy this sappy cutscene. Iris! Iris! Zero! Hang in there, Iris! Please, stay away from Replifos. Let's live together. In a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! Uh. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? You know, I'm sure that scene would have been more dramatic if the voice acting was better. <laughs> that is an infamous cutscene in Mega Man X4 that has just become a huge internet joke. And it's supposed to be a real dramatic scene, but unfortunately, Zero's line of WHAT AM I FIGHTING FOR?! Didn't, uh, do well with audiences. But yeah, Iris died, and, uh, we, we never see her again. She wasn't in X5, she doesn't get rebuilt. That's fucked up. Zero's only love interest has died, and he doesn't know what he's fighting for. And, uh, needless to say, he's getting a little, uh, confused. And due to my bad gameplay, a little dead, too. <laughs> anyway, this is the lower path I didn't take when I was doing the X playthrough. Uh, I prefer the higher path just because there's way too many bottomless pits here, and they're really hard to navigate for me. So if you want my honest opinion, if you want the easier time, go for the higher path. Either wa otherwise, you're just gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of bullshit like this. But either way, we reached the general, the, the head of Repliforce.
Who makes a gigantic chair for him, anyway? I digress. General! Many died because of you! Those lives are on your conscience! Independence always has a high price. What about Iris? Did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero. It was our destiny to fight. Okay, General was somewhat difficult with X. When you're playing a Zero, he's a lot more challenging. The only way you could hit General is by hitting him in the head, and Zero is a close range fighter. Usually when I try and attack General in the face, I'm always hitting his shoulder plates or his chest plate, and I'm always getting myself a little bruised. The only time I have a good time fighting this guy with Zero is when he, lo when he loves to lean against the wall. In that case, I just hug onto the wall and slash the back of his head every time I get. Otherwise, I'll have to wait for the fists to come out and use them to reach the head, but I always seem to get hit. It's very hard not to, which makes the fight that much more uh, a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. Of course, you should stock up on sub-tanks before you come to this level. I, unfortunately, do not have that luxury. Oh wait, yes I do. <laughs> Sorry, what am I talking about? I got plenty of sub-tanks. It's basically, you have to be real good with your precision slashing and, you know... It's bad enough you're dodging his shots, you have to dodge his shoulders and you gotta... make those slashes count. I once had a run where General did nothing but sidle up to the wall, and it was the easiest fight in the world. All I had to do was hug the wall and just keep slashing the back of his head. It was crazy. Crazy, I tells ya. But General shouldn't be too much trouble if you, uh, just keep your jumps well, make sure to stay out of his line of fire. Just keep whacking his head, and that will be it for our Goldenrod robot here. What is this? What happened? No, this weapon can't be working. General, what's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. Hey. Anyway, folks, we're at the final level, and we're at the boss rush level. This song is from the Capcom 20th Anniversary of Mega Man Rock CD, and it's basically uh, Wily 5. It's the castle theme in Mega Man 5 of Wily's castle. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in part 7. <laughs>